So problem number 31, a moving car. You are videotaping a race when we stand 132 feet away. That's this value right here. Um, following a car moving 180 miles per hour. So let's just call that uh, dx over dt in the x direction. Uh, as the figure shown, about how fast will your camera angle, look at it right there, that theta right there, be moving? So how fast? We're going to say that we're looking for d theta over dt. Be changing when the car is right in front of you. How about a half a second later? So I have two questions here. So right when it's right in front of me, so we're going to look at it right here, our right angle. And then what about half a second later? So that's a little bit later after that. Okay, yep. so we'll do the right angle triangle first, and that should be pretty easy. And then, but that half angle might be a little harder, or a half second later. So let's see. It looks like we're looking for a theta, and we were given dx dt. Uh, we are given a constant of one hundred and thirty-two. We'll call that y is equal to 132 feet. So if we're looking in reference to theta here, that's opposite and adjacent. And for opposite adjacent and theta, I'm thinking is the sine cosine or tangent. Opposite adjacent is gonna be tangent, so that's right, tangent of theta is equal to x over y we know y is constant at 132 feet. And so we'll say tangent of theta is equal to x over 132. Now we know theta is that constant or changing. Well, the car is moving. So I'm thinking that's going to be a variable. And x is the distance from the car, race car, to my first um, right in front of me. So that's going to be moving. So we can't fix those. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the derivative because we want d the dt. The derivative of tangent. So d uh, over dt of tangent. And we're going to take the derivative of both sides. d over dt of x over 132. So it's going to be secant squared theta d theta over dt equals to 1 over 132, because that's a constant, and dx over dt. We are given the value for uh, dx right here, dx dt. We are not, we're looking for d theta dt, and we're going to have to somehow find secant theta. Just a reminder, secant theta is hypotenuse over adjacent. And as I look at my triangle here, let's look at my triangle over here, right? My hypotenuse is, I don't know what my hypotenuse is. So we'll have to find that, I guess. Um, So this question is a little tricky because right when the car is in front of my camera, this if let me draw that out. If if this is the camera and this is the car, we're, we're saying it's gonna be right in front, right there. Well, isn't theta now zero? So the hypotenuse, which was this tri which which was this here and my adjacent value, they're actually the same value. So since h is equal to a, that um, implies that h over a is just one. So secant of theta is actually gonna be one when theta is equal to zero. So plugging that back in over here, I'm thinking it's gonna be zero, not with zero, I'm sorry. It's going to be a one d theta over dt is equal to 1 over 32, 132. And then our dx dt, 
we could use the 132. Uh, sorry, we can use a 264 for DXDT because 132 is in feet, right? We said this was in feet. So we need to make sure we're using the same unit. So we're going to use 264 feet per second. So that way the units would cancel out. And d theta dt would be 264 um, over 132, and we're in radians per second. Okay, then, and that answers our how fast will the camera have to be changing at that moment. Our next problem is what about half a second later? So, in half a second later, we're from we're going to be from the camera starting point here, right at the picture, and we'll be traveling at this distance for half a second. Now, we're going to use 264 feet per second. And we're going to say, okay, after half a second, how far did you travel? That's going to be half of it. So it's going to be 132 feet. So when we, we can redraw this triangle to be uh, 132 feet. And this is going to be 132 feet, half a second later. That's going to be a right angle for us. And the question is, how fast are we traveling? How f Oh, sorry. What is the theta? How much is theta changing now, half a second later? So we're looking for d theta over dt. Um, we're going to use, again, our opposite and adjacent. We're looking for our new d theta dt at this time, half a second later. So I'm figuring I'm going to use tangent again. Tangent of theta is equal to um, opposite over adjacent. In this case, it would be um, our new x. We'll call that um, x2 here. Uh, tangent of theta is equal to x2 over 132 because that still is a constant for us, feet. Um, and then we can take the derivative. d theta over dt is equal, sorry, um, secant squared theta is equal to 1 over 132 feet, and then we're taking care of uh, x, which is dx over dt again. Since we know our distance is 132 on the bottom side, Right here, that's my opposite, and this is my adjacent. Um, I need to somehow try to figure out secant. So since the sides are the same, it's a right triangle, we're going to say this is 132 square root of 2 from algebra 1. And if we square that, it'll be, let's go right up here. It'll be secant squared, which is hypotenuse over adjacent, so it's 132 square root of 2 over 132. Uh, we can divide that out. And d theta over dt. And that would just be square root of 2 squared, which leads us to being uh, 2. So it's 2 d theta over dt is equal to on the right side, 1 over 132. And how fast is the car driving in the x-direction? It is still driving at a rate of 264 feet per second. And this is a feet here. We divide both sides by 2. Or divide both sides by 1 half. 
turns out that 132 times 2 is 264, and we all divide out d theta over dt is equal to 1 radians per second.